Hello and welcome to another video. Today I have uh, issue with the C17C50. It comes from BMW 3 Series E92. I read this issue before on bench mode, but what I want to show you today, it's a small experiment. I lock this issue with magic lock. I will show you now with flex when I will try to read this one through bench. It doesn't allow me because it's uh, password protected. Okay. You will find this issue through F-series, on the E-series you don't find it. I don't know from which reason, let's take for example this one, E92, 3-series. It show me here, EDC 17C41. And when we go here forward, on bench, this is the issue, okay? Then have nothing to do with our issue. Then we go back. We select our issue type, EDC 17C50. Okay, these are the connections. And we go forward now. I will try to connect. Okay, the match lock function has been applied to this issue. Why it's important to have this function, why, why I like this function? Let's say, for example, you sell a car, okay? You are a seller, you are a dealer, and you want to sell the car. If you look the issue, no one can make reading or writing on that issue. I mean, they cannot tune the car, they cannot modify, they cannot play with the car, because you give them warranty for, let's say, one year or two years, depends from where you buy the car. And in this way, no one can play anymore with car issue, okay? Only if you have the original dump. Of course, I have already the original dump. You notice in another video when I read this issue, I don't remember, I, I believe it was comparing between Flex and FC200 or I don't know, something like that. But the point is now, I will connect the FC200 and we will try to see if the FC200 it is able to restore the, the data back. Okay, let's say you have the original dump or somebody give you the original dump. And if it's possible to restore the issue back to life. Okay, to I mind to be unlocked. Okay. You notice you can only open this one to boot mode, okay? Also flex, it cannot connect forward. It cannot uh, connect to this issue. Now I will close from here. I will close the recording. I will plug the FC200 and we move from there. FC200 is connected. Let's go first to bench to see if it's able to read on the bench. The connection is similar. We try to identify the issue. And FC200, it will show us nothing because it's not able to connect or give us information. You'll see in the next seconds we have an error related to this issue. Okay, we have an error. And it's not able to connect. It tells us. Uh, to check the connection, but it's not uh, because of that, it's because the issue is locked. Okay, we go back and we will read this one on boot. Pay attention on wiring diagram. We'll remove the brown and purple one. Okay, we'll use now the brown one for reading. Okay, I will turn the issue to another side because it's already open. I didn't lose the time showing you how to open the issue. It close. I will stay with my left hand. I hope I'm able to do this. Okay. 
let's identify the issue. Bam. And we have connection. Okay, let's try to read the P flash because the P flash it was locked. Let's try to put the password. It was still eight, the password. I didn't have 16 characters, okay. At this moment, you cannot read this issue. And also if you read, you don't, I don't need these readings because he will ask me for original file. I will close. Let's try to read the D flash. It should be able to read the D flash. Okay, notice the D flash. It can be read it. I will close. I don't need uh, to save this data. Okay. Now let's write the P flash. And this is our original dat data. Uh, no, I don't have, give him permission for correction. Also, it asked me for the password, but you notice it doesn't take the password. Then we put the original file. Now it should be able to write the data. Okay, you notice the start. I hope uh, my hand it doesn't shake too much because I don't want to lose connection with the issue. Okay, the P flash it was. Right with success. I write also the D flash just of curiosity. We go now back. Okay. I will take this out. We make the connection again. If we remember good, it was over here on the pin 5, the brown. And two free and the third one is the purple one okay now we go on platform okay now let's try to identify our issue you notice the issue is not locked anymore let's try to read the ESN Okay, he can read the ESN. Let's try to extract the P flash now. Okay, and at this moment, your issue is unlocked from this magic lock. As I said, magic lock is a very good option. I would suggest for the people who sell the cars to lock the issue with magic lock for the people who have, who give warranty because in this way no one can play with your issue you you saw it already uh, also another programmers they cannot write the data also the flex it was locked from the beginning tell us the issue is locked what uh, what i don't like on the fc200 is when i put the password i put uh, one to eight and it doesn't want to take the password and this was exactly the password what i have it but on the end we do job on a different way and this is also very good i don't make a backup because i already have the backup okay i will close the video here it was a video because a subscriber 
request to see video like this one. It asks me if the FC200 is able to read on boot. I will show you also more than that. It's also able to recover your ECU if it's locked and you have the original dump, okay? I will stop here. I will tell you thank you for watching and see us in the next video. Bye bye.